the Quisi Bunsi, which is an ancient ancestral since time immemorial flute. It's made out of charcoal and wax. The mouthpiece is the quill of a duck's feather and the body is traditionally a cactus. And it comes from the world's tallest coastal mountain, which is in present day Colombia, where I'm from, where my ancestors are from. And up there, there are five indigenous nations. I want you to yell out their names. Kogi, Koyer. Ika, Ika. Wiwa, Wiwa. Kankwamo, Arawako. Arawako. The Arawako are the Arawaks, which are also the, the nations, the indigenous nations in the Caribbean, in many places in the Caribbean, but they also reside in the northern part of South America, including this mountain. And the, the, the music there, the original the music has two flutes and a rattle. The first flute is the print, the one that plays the melodies, which is called Queezy Boomsi, which means female flute, representing the divine feminine. And the other flute is called Queezy Sigi, which means the male flute, representing the divine masculine. And whoever plays that plays the rattle. Okay, so that's what you saw me coming in with. Now, that first piece that I created was all done live on the spot using this machine here. It's a loop station and basically this is the way it works. Anything that I say into the microphone, once I press the pedal, it gets recorded. Let's try that again. Anything that I say into the microphone, once I press the pedal, it gets recorded. Anything that I say into the microphone, once I press the pedal, it gets recorded. Anything that I say into the microphone, once I press the pedal, it gets recorded. Anything that I say into the microphone, once... And that's... And that's how that first piece was created. I create, I uh, recorded the flute, and then record, recorded my voice doing the beatbox. So that's how I'm gonna do this first, this other piece, which uh, to show you a little bit about the journey and the history of the music that, the traditional music that I study. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the first flute that plays the rattle. So that's what the first performer would be playing. Just a rattle and a basic uh, line, supporting line with one of the flutes. And then the second flute comes in with the melody. so on and so forth. So that's the two flutes that are played at the top of the world's tallest coastal mountain, which is called Sierra Nevada. Everybody say Sierra Nevada. All right. Now the valleys of the mountain and the jungle areas and the coastal regions has a different history. The music there has its origins in West Africa. So you have a lot of different drumming, layers of drumming parts on top of each other. You have call and response singing, and you also have participation, dancing and participation all the time when the music is being created. So I'm gonna introduce 
uh, one of the drums that later became a part of the ensemble, the flute ensemble, and this one is called Yamador, and it has its origins in the Congo. Everybody say Yamador. And this is the Yamador. It's made out of wedges, rope, animal hide, and wood. And this plays the upbeats. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so that's the Yamador part. Then you have a big bass drum where you're playing the wood, your, the shell of the drum, but also the drum head. And it goes like this. about this big and you're playing the sides but you're also playing the shell and then you have the tambor alegre which means the lively drum and that one is usually bringing up the energy uh, and following the dancers and following the singers okay so this one goes like this
Thank you. Muchas gracias.